<laughs> Small well fun in everyone. Um, gonna get the announcements sent out. And then, I mean, like, kind of pretty much get right into it. It being taking this off and repairing my nail and deciding what the heck I'm putting on here. Like, I kind of think maybe what was it? Um, it's a little bit windy still. We had storms here that are mostly wrapped up. But it's still kind of windy, so I don't know how much that the, uh, the mic is actually picking up. There for now. Yeah, that's a really cute time. Adorable, cute fizz time. Hey. Hi. Jesse, hello. Thank you so much for the three months. Jay, welcome. Well, enjoy your lurk, I should say. Um, I don't know how much longer I would have kept this on because I really, really like it. It's such a nice, like I talked about when I put it on, like a neutral, lovely color. But, uh... Even like I I can see it. I don't know if the camera will focus on it. There's a patch right there, and it is no longer holding the nail together. Hello, Fruno. I think I said hello. I'm pretty. I think I said hello and complimented the please time. Vicky, hello. I suppose if I had a starting soon screen. I could roll ads at the start of script stream to disable pre-rolls. Benefits of a start. Maybe I should, maybe one day I will actually do a starting soon screen. Luigi, hello. Trina, hello. Zia, hello. Mm. But yeah, um, on my nails right now, if you were not here for a uh, glass manicure it was highest bidder um and maybe i should do some flashlight time before i take this off punch buggy hey hey no 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 i'm sorry uh, i'm i'm uh, a little bit tired which means a little bit weirder than normal tiger mama hello Thank you for the 10 months and the bits. Um, the, the, the singular bit color is like the same neutral gray. That amuses me. Flamingo, hello. Yes, we have a bean with us today. Um, oh, beanie tree. Okay. Let's let's do flashlight time first. Um, I do think it's a little bit more holographic in the bottle than it is on the nail. Well, of course, now the camera doesn't want to focus. Can we maybe turn off the autofocus? Okay. But there definitely is like a very lovely, subtle hollow. There we go. That's a good angle. sort of linear but not really like it's more more scattered but it's not like scattered scattered i compared it when i was doing the unboxing to the china clay's kaleidoscope collection um which is a collection that i loved it was kind of i don't know if it was a companion collection to the omg collection but i remember them being out around the same time and I would love to see some more like formulas in this micro hollow finish. PR, by the way, I don't have that in the title because I'm not positive I'm putting that on. We'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, highest bidder. He found his spotlight. Yeah. Oh, also, do I have? Hold on. 
Mm. Closed captions. Look, I remembered without the closed caption having to remind me. Imagine. Mm. Ah, Jay, it's just, I, I don't know why that boss just gets to me. It was just very demoralizing. Just, just fucking felt bad, dude. Hey, Melrose. Uh, I've got a failed patch on my middle nail, so we're gonna be repairing that and then Hello. something. Music gal. Ha <laughs> ha. 49 months? Question mark? <laughs> Uh, at tier three, hello. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, how many? How many beanie trees? Level three hive train. Hello. Thank you. One, two, three, four. We have four beanie trees. Um. Yes. Four. Uh, okay. I think I'm caught up. It's a lot of months. And some beanie pets. Yeah, he heard me open it. He already heard it. <laughs> He's assuming the position. Mr. Bean. The loaf position. Oh, what a handsome loaf you are. Yes. Oh, very good loaf. <laughs> I mean, thank you, Jay. There's there's something about that one that's just different. Like I've I got walled on a lot of bosses in a turn Noctis. That game is hard as shit. None of the other bosses tilted me the way that one does. Um, yes, this is for you. It's for Bainey. Slowly, please. Music gal. Uh. I mean, I wouldn't consider me good. Like... I've, I have like 150 hours in that game or something and I'm still struggle busting like the whole everywhere okay can you be patient and nice can you sit Benny <laughs> oh, he's very demanding he was doing this the other day too and then he launched the whole part of my thumb so I'm trying to be very careful with how I'm offering these to him because I don't want to lose any digits slowly did I say hello Eltec? I don't I don't know maybe maybe not Mr. Bane and he'll do this thing where he like grabs my arm look at he's trying to do it <laughs> all right i didn't miss any right there were four four it's kind of washed out i guess it's the ring light Anyway, yeah, maybe we will have a chomp. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I really, I really, I can't, I can't uh, overstate how much I like this. It's like, like, like I said, maybe that's like a weird take, but like as a neutral. Um, it's okay that we're changing it though, because like honestly, I probably would have gotten sick of it 
soon because it's not like super flashy or like you know what i mean but it's just like really nice glam like glam granite i i called it a couple times this is enough acetone we'll see did I miss some pets yeah. hope you're gonna be a comfy boy not a naughty one Trina thank you and thank you guys for the hype train all right let's do some Grinch fingers Should I do maybe mm. so I wonder if I should do a little swatch that can be drying while I'm doing this. I'm considering I'm kind of considering two things. Um like one of these because like I want to do another one of these a lot or blacklisted possibly with some flakies on it or maybe reflective taco although the reflective taco I feel like not that it looks bad over anything but that it really stands out more over like creams and stuff that don't have as much uh, like texture and personality of their own I shouldn't like creams don't have any personality as much texture though hi amethyst <laughs> bond villain <laughs> hmm. did I do this or did I do this I don't I don't even know um grape flavored water does not fare well with Milo that's kind of I like I used to quite a lot like grape soda what's today is today the 23rd Welches. Oh, oh. Okay, so I also really quite want to use the reflective, but I, I just don't think this is this is the time. Oh, we could try these on top. Actually, I wondered too, almost, what some of the light mode stuff might look like on top. Because that's like a little bit transparent. One, two, three, four. Here's another one of the shimmers. Here's the other one of the shimmers. Solar. One more flaky. Mm. I see it. I do, oh here it is. Oh, I was gonna say I just put a bunch of stuff away in the drawer. Um an extra reflective and blacklisted, yeah. Nice. What what it's Saturday. I'm like, what day is today? It's actually Saturday. It's often. Hmm. Or is it? Does it have to be at the corner? Oh. Oh, flamingo. That now. Okay, so y'all just called me with the villain vibes, but flamingo is the evil genius in here.
Hmm. I wonder if best practices would say to magnet after reflective taco as well as after glossy little sesh feet. Purple, enjoy your lurk. The box is so nice. You know, it's nice to know that I'm not the only person that likes a nice box. The only thing I hesitate with the magnetic is having to... Uh, Set the magnetic design adds adds quite a bit a oh, flamingo I really like that idea though so for anybody who wasn't here time before last like there's just a lot of really good things happening here Dude, the raspberry juicy with the reflective. Mm. Okay. Like all of these are super super dude th this 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 one with the, now I'm like picturing just like reflective, just like chling chling. Well, we have we have lots to do before we get to actually picking the manicure. So, along my initial thought, which is definitely slightly lower lower I don't want to say lower effort necessarily. Well, maybe it is lower effort, but like you know, as far as not needing to set the magnet or anything. Um Okay, so I want to do nine things. Is this long enough for nine things? Sure, we'll make it long enough. Wistful, enjoy your lurk. I'm gonna add just a little bit more in a couple of the patchy spots. I don't think I'm gonna do like an actual whole second coat. It's almost a little bit on the thick side. Would I want this thinner if I was doing it in a manicure? is quite thick. That drip is slow. Like it's like it's it's smooth though. So the thing is, here's here's the here's the uh what do I want to say? The reveal these swatches have a have a stripe of reflective on them can you tell where the stripe of reflective is on any of them maybe if i get out the flashlight um oh no Tigerman, what'd you do oh. you need to go Hold on. Birdie! We're, uh, we're, we're demonstrating... Well, we're demonstrating that things are sparkly, but we're demonstrating that sometimes extra sparkles on top of regular sparkles do not, in fact, equal more sparkles. Um... 
There. Okay, now looking particularly at this little swatch. Hell, I birdie, I hope you had a good stream. Where was that angle I just had? I feel like right there you can catch a little bit of the reflective. Otherwise, I feel like in it, in itself it's too like it's too shiny. Lovely. Great. That's on my block. <laughs> Hi Raiders. MX, welcome. Um Bertie, what what were you up to? What were you up to? Yeah, also, oh my god, like this obviously. Maybe I should wear that. Maybe I should wear that with a peel off base coat and then in a couple days we can do the magnetic with the reflective. Mm. Um, I, I keep getting derailed. Voice shenanigans where you kept losing skills if you said their name. No. No, that sounds so hard. Um. So if you could not see any difference in any of these, by the way, the the swath of reflective is along the bottom uh, about third or fourth of these swatches. Um... And I'm sure, like, if you did it like a whole manicure and you did it with, like, a heavier application and you XYZ and you top coated and, and things such as this, that it might be a little bit more obvious. But to me, especially considering, like, how pretty these are, like, on their own merits. Um, Okay, I'm obsessed with that idea now because then we could, okay, but then we could, then we could, Raiders, this is the kind of thing that you have shown up for. If you like colorful things, you are my people. Um, then we could do one of these next with the reflective and the reflective, I feel like would really like, boom, because this is not sparkle. You know, this is, what do, what do you want to call it? Uh, ch ch uh, ch 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 ch. It starts with a ch. Help me, chat. It's a gemstone term. We've had this conversation before. Chartreuse. It's some shit like that. But like, it's not. It it's not a sparkle thing. It's a it's a different way of playing with light. Chatoyancy, sun. Yes. Hi, son. Chatoyancy. That's what I think when I look at like magnetic. And I think that would play nicely with the sparkle from the reflective. Hi, Bale. Now picking, picking one, to put to put it over i mean that you know that's a problem for future collect also once this is dry because i kind of glommed it on we'll do the flaky swatches on top of that it's such a good word it's it's perfect for magnetics and i never can remember it i'm like ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, I used to quite enjoy looking like learning gemstone facts. Um, acetone, cotton, nails, it's 521. Feels like science. Yeah, I have a couple just like books with like pictures of gemstones in it. When I was cleaning up the other day, I found a box and inside the box was another box and inside of that box was little uh 
like knickknacky type of things that I just like do not have room to like have out but also that like I don't want to just like get rid of because they're like you know things that I was given or things that I purchased and a few of them were from the state fair where there's like a vendor that just has like all kinds of little small things carved out of gemstones and I had a little moonstone cat in there oh my god it was so cute <sighs> yeah but chatoyancy is a cooler word I feel like it describes the 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 what I want to say the depth of it more I don't know. I suppose I could just call it a cat's eye. Usually, I mean, that's what I have been calling it. The cat's eye effect. Although, like, to be clear, that's not the only effect you can get with magnets and magnetic polish. Like, you can get lots of other effects that are, I mean, they're similar, but not the same. Like, generally, you only see people calling it cat's eye when it's, like, you know, straight across little uh, swing but also like there's round magnets there's magnets that'll produce like a star pattern and I own those magnets but I rarely use them okay I don't remember what time I put these on here but I'm sure it'll just take a few minutes for the acetone to get to work. Oh. I should have better posture. I'm just very tired. I'm so sick of being very tired. I'm glad it's like a little bit nicer out though. Get like some fresh air in here and turn the air off for a little while. Mm. I feel like probably it's almost been long enough. I, I literally remembered to look. I just didn't remember to remember. Hey, dress a -batic. Am I saying that properly? Maybe not. Maybe I should stick with like dress or drac. Hmm. <laughs> turtle. Uh, no, turtle. I mean, turtle feels like cute and I don't know. Like the turtle cares about me. I don't know. The turtle's adorable. It's no worries. Why don't you look over? Oh, you gave it a try. Wistful. I'm glad it worked well for you. Yeah, so you let it sit, you pull it off, and it just, you know, it's clean. You don't get it all. Like, the thing that I really love is you don't get it, like, all down, like, ground into your cuticles or anything. And also, I feel like it's just, like, gentler on your nails because you're not, you know, back and forth and all that stuff. Now, this is the nail that has the failed patch. So I'm probably going to need to soak that a little bit more. <laughs> ah, fuck, it looks horrible. That's what we're going to be fixing today. Because that's still... That needs, that needs a few more weeks of growing out. Yeah, flamingo. <laughs> Like, I have, I have less of a tendency to patch than I used to, but if I have one patch, I'm, like, I'm more likely to have more. But if, like, if something is that low, like, there's just no way around it. Hey, Naki. I may trim my nails a little bit too. I don't know. I really like them at this length, but also it would be easier on the patch if it was not this long. How's this one holding? Okay. We have a uh, break in the thumb there. got a little bit of a ridge in it. I might buff that down slightly and then like reinforce it. Yes! They were gorgeous! Like, 
I really like uh, light mode for marbling. It give like it's such an oil slicky effect. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Okay, we also, I'm just kind of recalling, last time I picked at some peeling and made a new break on the tip of this nail, so we also have the tip of vertical split patched on this nail. My nails are actually trash right now. Like, actually. I mean, not actually, but like, they're not, they're, they're not great right now. Getting the undersides here. And then I'm gonna soak off this patch, I think. Or should I do I wanna file my nails down a little bit first? Or during or after? Hmm. Do I wanna try to reinforce this? You see that that little it's not quite fully vertical but at, it's coming from like the tip of the nail right there it almost looks like there's a hair stuck in there but that's not a hair that's a crack <laughs> like I feel a little bit of an urge to just like chop You know what, let's do it. Is Future Collect gonna regret this? Maybe. And yes, I am using an actual nail clipper. Cause I'm taking off. A chunk. Oh no, that's so frustrating, Naki. Um, oh, I hate doing my right hand. Also, I know some people are not down for the clipping and filing sounds. I do apologize. Uh, please feel free to take advantage of uh, the captions for a little minute here. Wow, I don't know where that went. That is like the danger of like clipping your nails. Like sometimes it's just like pew. Okay. Let's zoom out a little bit more here. All right. I'm gonna even them up with the big one and then I'm gonna go in with my small one. Yeah, don't, isn't that kind of just frustrating? It's like, man, my plan. <laughs> Cause I feel like I, like I said, I have gotten better with that, with like being okay with having shorter nails sometimes, let them grow out or to let them recover. 
but sometimes like I'm just too lazy to do it and also sometimes like I had plans that I would like to have a larger canvas for so clipping does not always make them straight across so I'm just making sure they're straight across one's also a little bit curved so that makes it a little bit more challenging sometimes you have to just have the appearance of straight across which is not actually straight across also happy early birthday I do not trust myself to remember anything for multiple minutes, let alone multiple days. A good month. <laughs> July is a pretty good month, though. Although, I mean, in my case, it's almost always just like absolutely hot as hell. Probably for you, too. But I literally, I think I only remember one birthday where it wasn't just like very hot. Need to save up 4,000 points. Okay, now as a good streamer, I should know what's at 4,000 points. Welcome on in, Charlie. Is 4,000 midwife sounds? 6,000 is Google question. Or maybe Zote theme. Is Zote theme 4,000? That would also seem about right. Oh, and Valley Girl. Oh my god, totally. Like, how could I forget about the Valley Girl redemption? Hey, Caddy's snatching up the last beanie treat. Hold on. He doesn't seem inclined to ditch, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna finish this hand first. Sorry, so much is off camera. It's just for some reason even the right hand is even more awkward. Enjoy your lurk, Sharpie. And Caddy also. I will try to get to it like shortly, but like in a minute shortly. Actually shortly, not shortly TM. little bit lower and yeah I think we did manage to cut off the whole split end on this nail there's still some leftover gel I can maybe get that off I mean if I was a good nail person I would say with acetone but I'm going to say with my very sharp tool mm. 
think that got off most of it. Okay, and take poor little right thumb even a little bit shorter. So as not to put stress on this patch. Whole little right thumb. He was drooling. Yeah, his toe beans are gray. Like his nose, kind of. Okay, can you sit? You sleepy boy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he probably was. Beanie, I hope you would stay and hang out with us. Even though I suspect he's learned how to count to five. Are they blue gray or lavender gray? Wait, what is blue or lavender gray? Oh, his toe beans? Mm, brown gray. Which maybe 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 even gray with an a <laughs> they're kind they're kind of like a pinky gray can we could I show your toll beans to people could I do that come up here let me show let me show your toe beans off. Um where the heck is my dashboard? Uh Zaduzu, thank you for the follow. Come up here. No, come up here. Mr. Bean. Let me show let me show off your toe beans. Please? Come up here. He's like, no, I don't think so. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Not gray with an A, yeah. <laughs> He's getting comfy. He says, I'm gonna turn all of my toe beans away from you now. All right, so uh, slight taper, slight round of the corners. <laughs> he probably would. He, I mean, like, I don't know, I'm not gonna mess with him just to mess with him, but like, he's pretty good about me handling his feet. He lets me trim his nails, which we've done on stream before. Um. And I mean, obviously, I was just touching his feet, but I'm not gonna like try to manipulate him all around just for just to show off what a cute gray his toe beans are. The only thing I get a little bit frustrated with is. 
when my nails are short is I really I feel like they look so much nicer with a little bit of a taper <clears throat> and it's harder to taper when they're shorter so this one we gotta be careful when we're piling for obvious reasons still have a little bit of like gel left on there that I'll need to soak off but that's just gonna make the nail even more like dry slash brittle so I'm just gonna do the filing first mixed pink and black friskies I think were mixed pink and black like mostly pink but a little bit of black she was a calico Definitely need to soak the rest of that off. I guess it's probably good. My nails needed a bit of a length check. Right. and the thumb honey baby kitty that's so good I love that sometimes you get that little weird lip of half filed nail I think we're pretty good here. Middle nail is still a little bit chonky shaped, but also partly like that's because it's uh, got the gel on it. Calf, I'm debating between uh, blacklisted with possibly like maybe a flaky on top or a uh, smoke show which I would probably wear with a peely base and then that would open the door for in a couple days using reflective taco over magnetic polish which I like the idea of I mean I guess I could still do reflective taco over magnetic next if I do blacklist I mean I could do blacklisted with peely or I could just wear it longer or I could take a regular manicure off sooner I mean these are all options all valid viable options Yeah, I kind of wanted I mean also okay I'm not gonna lie this is in the back of my head um, featured guest because of course it is it's beautiful and I haven't had a light manicure on for a while but also it hasn't been that long and it very much reminds me of that gray magnetic that we did even though it's not magnetic
Hey, Oat. Yeah. Did you see? Were you here, Calf, when we did this page? Like, the options. This page makes me so happy. I knew it would. The options. Oat, how did the... Uh, I mean, I'm assuming it went fine because you were like about to go into Hollow Knight when I left. How did the end of the seed go? Were you able to, uh... Or wait, did you not have... You didn't go into Deepness. Did only Flib have the infinite weavers? GG, Amethyst. Did, did he try again? You can do it. I did it. You just really got to be careful. You have to take the Hollow Knight fight really slow. So as not to overkill it. You talk to Midwife but not Mass Maker. Yeah, Calf. Like, the decision is going to be really hard. That's okay, Oat. Um... At least that's what we assumed was causing Weavers to spawn when fighting Hollow Knight. Was that uh, was that he was getting like overkilled? So then I did a fight where I literally just fought so slowly in an effort not to spawn any Weavers. And I got like maybe like four, but I was able to get the Dream Nail again. I, I, to get the Dream Nail in. Um, but yeah, I think that looked like a pretty fun seed. Like, it wasn't too mean from you, aside from the early claw, which is you guys' own fault. When, when MSLP claw exists. Although I'm a little bit surprised because I feel like randoming benches has a tendency to, for you to get less early movement. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm just I'm I'm really taking a close look at the patch on my thumb. I think I do want to reinforce it a little bit since we're going to have the gel out anyway. And I also think I'm going to like I'm I'm rounding like mo my nails obviously. Like I rock like a slightly rounded like tapered square. But this finger in particular I keep more rounded because Otherwise, I just mash it against the controller problematically. So I'm just taking that down. Oh, your claw was out of logic. Oh, that's funny. Not far enough out of logic. 
Need MSLP claw to lock it. Claw locked. Claw, claw, vanilla claw location locked. Lever claw. That's what it almost always does to me now. Okay, so we, um, I'm gonna buff that a little bit and then we're gonna reinforce that crack there. I'm also gonna soak off the rest of the gel. Um, here and then we'll repatch that. I don't want to actually soak off the patch on the thumb because it's still holding. Um, it just from the looks of it and from like the feel of the edge I feel like it could use an additional layer but it's still holding the break itself like together which is good. like to give you thick chips. <laughs> All right. mm. So a lot of you guys have started getting your collections. I feel like about half you have them and half of them are coming like this coming week. What are you guys' favorite colors now that you've seen them in person, if you have? I need to, these are, these corners are still too short. The corners are snagging the cotton, the corners may be too sharp. Just hold this bit. I'm less patient sometimes with gel, like sometimes I do get to like scrubbing, which I don't do with polish, but also sometimes it needs like a little bit of extra encouragement. Featured guest and reflective taco. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll be nice, Amethyst. Yeah, I think, I mean, the basic black with the reflective taco is just like very, very much like elegant. If that makes sense to describe a nail polish, I think. spots where like I'm not soaking the gel off this I'm just leaving this it'll grow out um alrighty yeah I mean honestly well and it's weird too right because like people liked frozen bananas well enough that it was like re-released but the original like frozen metals collection like doesn't get as much love which i just think is just a shame i mean i've said that before the metals formula is very good and i don't know if i want to say it's like unique because obviously i don't own anything but it's not it's not like off the top of my head. I'm like, oh, this is like such and such, or ooh, this reminds me of, of this finish or this polish. Um, like just the, like this, like it's black. Like you get it where it's not catching the light, it's black. But the reflectivity, you know, when it does catch the light, I, you know, I like, oh, Maybe we do... I don't, I don't know if I want to do an accent nail situation. I don't, I don't know about that. Um, 
Alright. Um. Lightless gel. And the grossest nail product in my arsenal. The gel cure spray. So bad. How often... Here's a question. How often do you get a song stuck in your head? Like once a day, once a week, once a month? What is it to say? I'm trying to see something. I closed this. I'm very smart. Twice a week, a few times a week. I feel like if I if I stop to think about it, I have one like something in my head every day. And sometimes I know why, and sometimes I don't know why. Every day, daily, multiple times a day. Yeah. But the song that's in my head right now, I'm gonna share this. I'm sorry if I curse you also with the song. If you don't want to hear me say it, this is your warning that you have a moment to not hear it. But it's that song. I'm sure I heard it on the radio. Like, maybe last time I was d driving. But it's like, something, something. I just want to make you happier, baby. God, that was a horrible rendition. I was like, offbeat and like, flat and sharp at the same time. But like, when I just like, was quiet there for a minute. And I was like, uh, just working on like, getting that last little bit of chill on like, that came in my head. And I'm like, why? I'm, there's multiple things going on right now. I'm doing my nails. I'm live streaming. Why is that in my head? <laughs> I do know that for me, the way to get rid of it in my head is either, of course, get something else stuck in your head or go listen to the whole song. Which you can do if you know what song it is. <laughs> Usually it's one line of a song. Yeah. Well, because I can't remember the rest of it. I don't even know this. Like, it's not like, oh, that's my that's my favorite song. No, like, this is just some song I heard on the radio. It has matching lyrics to what you hear. Wait. How matching do the lyrics have to be? This is fascinating. I'm glad I asked you this. That reinforces it sometimes for you. Brains are weird. Because I think part of it for me is it's like, like you said, it's like only the one line. Entropy Raid. Welcome on in. I hope you had a good stream, Entropy. You are here just in time. Ooh, Witcher. You're here just in time for patching. And then we're going to, we're going to have an existential crisis of what polish to put on our nails. Um, Hi. All right, so I didn't too mu do too much soaking on the underside. How much? I think it got it kind of like as I was doing the top though, because I don't. So one of the things is, like I said, if you if you have a, a spot where you can see, can I get an angle there? You can. It's it's hard to see see it at the very edge side there. If you can see the break from the bottom, you want to patch it from the bottom also, like like gel seal the bottom as well as the top. But then like if you're like redoing patches or if you're like soaking off gel, like don't forget to get the gel from the underside also. And I think I got most of it. It can be difficult too because you want to try to keep it mostly off of your skin. And when you're going on the underside, that can be tough. Anyway, you can... So we'll patch it and then we'll use opposite pressure over here to hold it down. Right? We'll like, we'll gap it to, to fill in. 
and then we'll press it down you can like use like an orange stick or something to like press it like directly there to hold it down but then sometimes you have to be careful because the orange stick will be like stuck so um a lot of times it's easier to just like i said use opposite pressure on the other side of the nail to you know what i'm saying Hey, Jam Jams, hello. Exactly, Amethyst. It's not, <laughs> it's not the size that matters. But that's actually true with raids. Because you're sharing, like, I've, I've said it before, like, if you feel like sharing your community with me like that's extremely complimentary regardless of the size of that community like it's not the size of the community that makes it like you know what i'm saying i'm even less good with words than usual but i've said it before hopefully you heard it when i was more eloquent <laughs> You know, you shared your community and you thought of me. <laughs> like, really though, like, uh, I don't know. I was having some serious strimmer imposter syndrome after last night. I mean, not just because of that, but like also. That did not help the timing of that fuckery. Hmm. Okay. If you don't like wiggles, look away. Let me try to make sure. I hate it when shit. A lot of gel is just sitting on the brush. I hate it when you get like a ashy cast from the acetone, and I don't like sealing that in with gel. Okay. Getting that right on there. I'm gonna get just a little bit more. Mm. And we're gonna gently wiggle. Let the gel flow in there. Uh, I mentioned before, if your gel doesn't want to flow, you probably want to get new gel. Uh Missy with the Prime. Thank you so much for the six months. Ah, okay, that wasn't that wasn't really scary, but I thought it was gonna hit the floor. That was gonna be inconvenient. Um, I really appreciate the support. I hope you're having a good day. All right, now we're gonna get underside. Just a scooch more to seal the edge because I want to make sure. Like, honestly, this patch held okay. Shit, please stop falling over. Um, right along this edge. Okay. The spray. Please work in a well ventilated area. And I'm just gonna do like that to, like I said, apply the opposite pressure to hold it down while it's curing. Wait, which fuckery was I referring to? Whoa. You know, there's constant fuckery on twitch.tv slash MSLP. Did I get a good spray on this? Sometimes I feel like I don't get a really great spray. I feel like I got an okay spray on the underside because I feel it drying. I'm gonna give another spray on the top. Uh, 
Oh. There's this one boss in a turn in Noctis that I'm just... It's not that I'm bad at it, because I've been bad at most of the bosses in Eternal Noctis. I've spent several hours on several bosses, and it's been okay. This one boss just makes me feel so dejected. Oh, why did I close that? I still need to do this. It just... I don't know why. I... Oh, it just... It's very frustrating. I spent about five hours on it. I don't feel... Like, I came close a couple times, but I don't feel like I actually made progress. I don't know. It's the second version of a boss that made me put the game down for like a month last time, and like, I feel like I want to put the game down again. And I'm only 1.5% from the end. But like... <sighs> I, I have to, if I want 100%, I have to beat that boss, and I'm just, like, I, I have currently absolute zero interest in looking at that boss for another second. Yeah, that's actually a bit much gel. Let's wipe a little bit of that off. Seal the edge nicely. I don't know. Yeah. So I just, especially that one, like that one where I thought I had it. Like, I genuinely thought I had it. And then I didn't have it. That, that took it out of me. Like, that, that took a lot out of me. But, like, I was still going, but, like, it was just, like, uh. Is that fly on the inside? Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> So yeah, um, it's like I just oh, something about it, and I wish I could like you know be metacognitive and be like, well, this particular boss frustrates me because whatever. I don't know. Okay, actually, do I want to add a little bit more here? This is like slightly rough. Hmm. Shit, I think I do. Thought I was done, I'm not done. I want to make this a little bit more even. And then reseal the edge. The other robot, too, like, made me very angry. But this, this one, Alien DJ Boss, hands down, hands down, least favorite boss in the game. Least favorite boss ever, anywhere, in the whole, everywhere. Thanks, music gal. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I'm at 98.5%. 
and killing this killing this dude will complete like one quest and part of another quest and access me a gem like this fight is probably like half of the of the percent that I have left with all the things that are like tied to it because it's the robot quests and it's a hundred percent in in the hunter's journal it doesn't finish the collector's quest because we still have to do the celestial dragon stuff but it finishes the hunter's journal i believe and then access access i mean, gives fixes the card gives me access to the thing and then we go by the music play the music make friends with the dragon finish the collector's quest I think that gives me the other red gem and then I'm just missing like one dark material and the quests might give me enough money to buy the atlases and I won't have to farm money so it's just it's like all tied together okay so before we started removing polish we made a little strip of uh, blacklisted to try with uh, to try with shimmers and with uh, flakies. So let's, uh, you know what? I want to split this into like thirds and then each third into thirds. Oh, oat. The highlight of my evening last night. I have, I'm very low energy. I need to do whatever is easiest. I just realized I'm like, I'm excited and I feel like my face is like. Because that would take energy. Or maybe I just need, maybe I need some sugar. The highlight of last night was introducing oat to crumble cookies. Yeah, this is gonna be well, let's do marks on top also. <laughs> I see that that little boop that's what happens if you get a droplet Of like a droplet of spray that's not like a, a fine enough mist it's like very hard um, I'm actually going to use my cuticle nippers to get it off and then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of uh, buffing I just felt it. We had talked about that before, that that happens sometimes, and I didn't have an example at the time. Now we have an example. Alright. Hey, Stella. Welcome in. All right, um, Lunar. Galactic. Mm. 
Maybe I shouldn't apply them that heavily. Maybe I should apply them more sparsely. Then you can barely see it though. Hmm. I mean, I guess that would be part of the decision is how much of a balance do I want between metallic and flakies? Like, is this metallic forward or is this flaky forward? Or do it does, I mean, or, or, am I just being unnecessarily extra? Does this need flakies? I don't know why that lid is so squeaky. Also, I stopped naming them. There, you guys can see. It's we're going in rainbow order. I'm sorry. Okay, that one is also squeaky. You are infringing into another flaky's territory. You're gonna pay for this. That rock climbing looked cool and also a little bit like monk ass. I mean, for me personally. I really like how subtle the blue is. Camera. Oh. The purple is also like very subtle. Um, and then we'll do the uh, the shimmers. Cause why not? That's interesting. That's pretty. Like it's very subtle. The, sh the shimmer. Uh, tint. Okay. Camera. Come on, you can do it. There we go. So you can see the three at the end are the shimmers and they just add like this like blackened bit of color like it's still black but it's like got like a wash of color to it like I like that a lot also can you guys can you guys uh, it's, it's rough you know, maybe I should have done this in the black notebook. Look, the less the less white surrounding it, like the easier it is kind of to see. I probably should have done this in the black notebook. Okay, maybe I should um, block the focus. Hello? Focus? So like you can you can see like all of the metallicness still there shining through. Um 
I would say like the extra reflectiveness even comes through more with these than with the flakies necessarily. Like you see, of course maybe that's partly is just the angle of where the, the actual part of the light is reflecting. No, I think it's partly just that they have a more even coverage as well, so they're adding to that reflectivity. And at some angles, like, you barely see it at all. And that hollow that you're seeing there is actually in the base polish. Uh, none, of, none of these are hollow. All those little hollow bits that you're getting here in the flashlight, that's base polish. Gosh, maybe this thing doesn't need anything on top of it. I forgot it had hollow. The hollow is really subtle. Or maybe one that really lets the hollow stand out. Like the purple or the blue. I feel like those are... And I know it's weird for me to say this, but I feel like those are the least noticeable. Right? Gold, green, blue, purple, pink, orange, and then the shimmers. Like the blue and the purple. Are kind of the least uh, forward of the flakies. Yeah, the green is also very nice. I mean, honestly, you know what I'm gonna say. There's no wrong answers here. It's really subtle. I mean, okay. Not like that kind of subtle, like the other kind of subtle, you know, the kind of subtle that is sparkly nail polish. Or, oh, ah, 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 ah. Okay, wait, because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Colette, why did you bring that out after you had put the flashlight away? I don't know. Y'all. <laughs> the rainbow fish, yeah. It's the, I think it's the larger, like, it's the larger glitter that does that. <sighs> I'm going to go take a little break. Think about things. That's... I'm not ready for that yet. That's I want to wear that really bad, but not today. It's not in the running for today. I think, yeah, these two and this with or possibly without one of these. I think the purple one is actually the least noticeable. Hmm. All right, Music I'm glad you could stop in. Where is my other? There it is. Um, if you need your own break, I encourage you to get up. I'm gonna run an ad while I'm gone. You won't be missing anything. Does this say BRB properly? Yes, it does. It's not centered. The heck? Um. Decisions, decisions. I just, I. Or I could do this with an accent of this. If I did that, would I still want to do flakies? Uh. 
Because, like, they're not super, super, super similar, but, like, at this angle, you can see that, like, the base has some similarities. Although, like, at other angles, it's very obvious that this is a gray and this is a black, right? I will think about it. I will return soon. Um... And yeah, I appreciate you guys' patience.
I I think I have an answer. Also, thank you for your patience, everyone. But I don't feel confident in my decision. But I think I want to do this. I think. Smoke show? Smoke show. I think so. And if we do this, um, we can continue our experiment of how well those layering base coats work. And then we can look forward to one of these. A little bit of no. Soon TM. I think that's the plan. Will I regret this later? Because I'll be dreaming about this? Maybe. I really do like that. But I also. Yeah, I, I, I just had an understated hollow. And now I think I need. <coughs> An overstated hollow. <clears throat> I don't know if making up for it would be the correct term. Also, I'm surprised Mr. Bean stayed there. The whole time I was up and about. Okay, let's make this happen. And like I said, it's not like we're never going to do blacklisted, because <laughs> funny to say it since I haven't worn it yet, but it may be my favorite of the collection. Mm. So its day will come very soon. Okay, we have made a decision. Let's put away you and you and you and you. Okay. I didn't do my cuticles before I got up. They don't look horrible, nor do they look great. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Talk about pudding brain. Am I just gonna leave them? Maybe I'm just gonna leave them. It's not leaving them that bothers me. It's the fact that it didn't even occur to me until I... You know what that signifies? That signifies tired brain. So... Instead of worrying too much about my cuticles, how about I just give myself a little bit more time to rest? By moving along and not worrying about cuticles right now. That's the plan. Less stress is less energy. I think that, that makes sense. And less stress is also faster. Therefore, choose the less stressful option. Man, just when I thought I couldn't get any more pudding brain, though. I guess I was a little bit distracted with not having decided what color we were doing. And with having messed around with the uh, patches. 
but honestly I had to been thinking about you guys will laugh but doing another stream like this evening after a dinner break but I just realized it's almost 7 o'clock and then just also just realized my brain is not braining very well so I don't know if that'll actually happen maybe we'll just lay low and be back tomorrow and then I don't know tomorrow there's a there's a new thing called exploration bingo that I have a small interest in trying Mm, might try that I still haven't done a completed run with lore master on because I keep just getting rudest seeds and honestly the last seed I kind of like half forgot that I had it on and I was not checking all the lore locations mm. other things also I don't know I mean technically I turn an off this could be on the table but I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna go back to that so soon some of them mm, Naki that's valid And also, you know, like you recognize that, you know, there's a little bit of a privileged thing to be irritated about, but guess what? Doesn't mean it's not irritating. And, and, uh, it can be both, <laughs> you know? can be both oh that's rumbly I thought the storms were over so what we're gonna be doing here I'm using hollow taco peely base and then I'm gonna be topping it with hollow taco long-lasting base and we did an experiment with this before and we only did it on two fingers of the manicure and it worked out pretty good pretty good so now we'll do the whole manicure and see how it fares um like also it's nice because so sometimes with peely like with a peely base coat it's not just you know the usual foibles of peely base coat and yes i do want bonus points for using foibles it's like certain finishes do better or worse with a peely base coat i've always felt like mats don't wear particularly well with peely base coat um and thick glitters don't necessarily well wear very well with a peely base coat excuse me so um hopefully this will allow the glitter to stay on nicely and come off easily yeah foibles now the other time we did do I think a full wrap on the underside so I guess I'll do that again also a full wrap with the long lasting I should say and also with the top coat wow thunder Clarky is probably not happy Mm. 
the manicure that we did the test on was the magnetic one and then when I took that off one of the peely nails I also did a sampler of the reflective taco so uh, that also impacted the peeliness or impacted the peel maybe I should say triple word score I was thinking about that too like I I would kind of love to do another Scrabble stream and like it has a couple of things that it's like well makes it a little bit weird or it feels like it's a little bit weird to stream but I just remember it being so much fun I would love to do that again maybe I would I could, maybe I could like make a channel point redemption to challenge me to a scrabble I think actual scrabble has a new website too like it was so fun that we actually like we started a whole discord channel for it and the channels there all lonely and dusty I don't know if I would go to the actual Scrabble site or just stick with uh, ISC, the Internet Scrabble Club. Because the one thing that I disliked about ISC, the actual Scrabble site has not fixed from what I've heard, which is the fact that it's only two people. And like, dude, a good four player Scrabble match, hello? Like, I couldn't understand why it was so hard to find an actual multiplayer, not just two player Scrabble site that wasn't like shifty. Are you a Scrabble fan too, Wistful? Yeah. Yeah, like every, like I feel like it was like a little bit of a like out of the ordinary stream but like everybody had fun and people were like yeah we should all get together and have scrabbles <laughs> mm. <laughs> thick bull yeah I yeah I, I think that's a hole that needs to be filled something for four player online scrabble please Maybe it exists, but I want I don't want it to be like Scrabble. I want it to be Scrabble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. It's another one of the things. I mean Scrabble is kinda like see this like the exact thing happened, except it's on top of the nail. You can see like I I, I was gonna say something about it when I was painting and then I didn't and then I just saw it on camera and I'm like I gotta say something again. It's that little ashiness from the acetone. But this is just under the polish. It's not like I didn't want to trap it under a patch because then it would be bothering me for weeks to come. Um But yeah, I used to play a lot of Scrabble with my grandma. I mean my aunt and my mom also, but like my grandma got me started on it. Is dry. Okay. Um, smoke show. Smoke show two or three color. Hey, probably two. Some of the glitters I know are like three colors, but I bet we can do this in two. Hey, Silver, you are here just in time for the painting. Just in time. Oh, <laughs> rip. We, uh, I mean, we did, we did a little bit of testing. We did, we cut my nails down. So we're kind of like semi nubbins. And we did some patches. How long have we been going? Two hours. I guess that seems about right. We did not do my cuticles and I decided not to because I'm lazy. Munchkins, hello. Welcome. Um,. And we're going with Smoke Show 
and I'm giving the layered base coats a full manicure attempt. So that's that's where we currently stand. <laughs> These big chalky glitters. Wrapping. Wrapping the tip also, like with when you have like a chunky glitter, also kind of serves to ensure that you don't have any glitters hanging off the edge of your nail, just waiting to get, you know, caught in something. And you do want to pay like somewhat attention to where the large chunks are going. <clears throat> yeah, I was debating. We also did, uh, like some testing over blacklisted of flakies and then the three at the end are like shimmers that are like very very subtle color washes and I liked all of that also but then I wanted this and maybe that'll come later and then we also talked about um, doing another magnetic manicure and putting reflective taco on it. And I think, well, we'll see. I was going to say, I think that'll probably come next, but it'll really depend on what my mood is whenever... Like, depending on how long I wear this. There. I don't know if you guys could see that, but, like, I just... What I was just saying, like, I pushed a little glitter in on the tip of the nail when I was wrapping the tip there. It's a little bit close to the cuticle. sure it's smooth I was trying to see if you could I was gonna say I didn't do quite as good of a job on my index nail because I can clearly see some bald patches but I guess there's a couple other little spots like I could kind of dab on right there and also like right there. And the, I mean, obviously we will be doing a second coat to even everything out, but it's easier to get that second coat to even everything out if you've been mindful on the first coat. And I mean, if you were really patient, you could start out with coats that thin. I'm not that patient. Um, like if you if you did coats that thin, it probably would need three. can't wait to do flashlight time on this mm. linear flaky and everything taco over highest bitter and they all look incredible nice but which one is highest this one yes yes to like amp up the hollow mm. egg fried rice with bacon and a bit of sriracha that sounds really good <laughs> munchkins thank you I just covered it up but like honestly it's all it's all uh, an illusion we've got a major low break on this nail right here that's what we were doing in the first part of the stream was repatching that um, it's too low to actually cut it so I'm probably going to be growing that out for at least another month but thank you 
I've learned how to camouflage repairs and work with what I've got. And honestly, I mean, my nails, I mean, every now and then, like, I do get irritated with them or I do get, like, cracks or peeling or whatever, but they're, like, so much healthier than they used to be before I started taking biotin. And sometimes I do catch myself being, like, lazy or forgetful with my vitamins, and I'm like, self, don't do it. We know, we know what comes of that, and it is broken nails. Um, like a little bit finicky, so you can kind of see, like when I, when I do one stroke, it'll apply pretty thin, like that. So if you were to just do like one thin stroke over the whole nail, you'd get coverage kind of like that. But like if you just do like another pass, you can get kind of a more opaque coverage. Um, the large glitters are not being too much of a pain in the butt, I don't think, as far as like needing to be very careful about placing them. Um. Well, like in some places you can see like little bald spots or stuff but like this is still the first coat um so yeah like a little bit on the thicker side like there's the drip i would actually say as far as my bottles go that blacklisted is a little thicker because we looked at that earlier um and I was going to wait to see how it applied on the nail. But like, it feels, it feels like maybe I would want to thin it a little bit. Whereas this feels like... Thick, but, but workable. Does that make sense? And maybe blacklisted will like the the metals aren't exactly glitters, but they have like metallic particles in them, so they have some things that are similar with glitter. So maybe that's part of the reason like the formula's a little bit thicker. Also, I mean just on average, hollow taco formulas are thicker than a lot of brands. <clears throat> but um pretty easy application. I don't feel like I did too bad of a job. Oh. Well that's my fault. What did I, what did I, what did, where, how? When did that happen? What did, I don't see, I don't see nail polish on anything. So, where exactly? Hello? Where exactly did I knock that nail? Yeah, that was the one thing I was, uh, you know, like, a little bit wary of, just looking in the bottle and just looking at, like, the sloppy swatch that I did in my notebook, and my notebook is over there, which is why I did that. Um, but, like, actually, application-wise, I feel like the, the large glitters are, are nicely distributed. Um, you really liked it on the nail, even though it was a little thicker. Um, Zia, yeah, glass nail file, I think, is really nice. There are people that don't like glass files, but, like, just, just technically speaking, like, glass files are superior as far as, like, leaving a, like, clean, smooth edge to the nail over, like, an emery board. Um, 
quick dry top coat if he doesn't have one yet. A lot of people, you know, base coat possibly too. Like they start wearing polish and like they just start wearing polish. Like they don't have the good base. They don't have a good quick dry top. Like you, anybody who will. Yeah, I think that's safe to say. Anybody who has tried quick dry top coat for the first time and then it actually works. Like it changes the way you do manicures. Um. Oh, Caddy, that's a good idea. Vinyls, silver, I like that. Yeah. Um. Maybe some cuticle oil. Um. Something like that. I'm thinking, like, I mean, obviously, too, of course, when you're just starting out, like, it's very fun to get, you know, your first fill in the blank. Ooh, my first hollow, my first glitter, my first uh i don't know there you know um like other good like nail tools i mean like nail art wise there's a lot of little like starter nail art kits and some of them are cheap and some of them are expensive and you can get some okay cheap ones but a lot of times you do get what you pay for with that dotting tools like honestly i do like having real dotting tools but also that's something you can easily diy if you're not sure like a lot of times it's like if you're just getting into a hobby you don't want to dive too deep in and then like have a bunch of stuff it's like oh it turns out i don't even like such and such um yeah and i've had like i've had multiple amazon kits um, the Butte Galleria kit that I got was actually on the cheap side and they're not phenomenal, but they're usable. Like it's a good set for you. Like I think for beginners, it has brushes, it has dotting tools, it has striping tape. I think it's on my nail essentials list and they're quality enough for you to use. And if you like it, be like, you know, I really would like a better here's a good example this is the fan brush from that kit looks fine right there's nothing you know particularly wrong with it it's it's like in a little bit poor shape that's just from i, I use it to clean my keyboard okay this one um but one of the things like i always kind of notice is that the edge is not very actually round compared to like this fan brush which has a wider fan and a rounder edge and this is actually like the same, this is like from Michaels or something. This is like the same brand as my cleanup brush. Um, and I've even seen like fan brushes that are even straighter cut across the top. Um, the one thing that is kind of a deal breaker for me in cheap nail brush sets is very stiff bristles, which these are like pretty soft and nice. Um, and the same goes for their, for their other brushes. <clears throat> Um, yeah, like there's a lot of kits on Amazon and a lot of them have a lot of reviews too. And there's like trash in there and there's treasure in there. The hollow taco set is very nice and it's very aesthetic. It's rainbow. Um, but you know, it is uh boutique priced. Um, what else like really good? I'm trying to think like must have must have nail art things I don't know I think that like those are all good suggestions As I especially love the glass nail file idea because like I said I feel like it really it, it's a small simple but appreciable step up and I'm sorry emery board lovers but like who who was it or was it Instagram or something? And like, they just like had like a, you know, like a microscopic close up of like the edge of your nail, like what it looks like after an emery board versus like a glass file. And all glass files are also not created equal. So there's that. Um, but like a really good glass nail file will, like having a clean edge will help prevent peeling and splitting and stuff like that too. Amethyst, I saw a thing on Instagram that you can 
put it in boiling water and straighten it out again. Polish thinner, yes, and acetone. Yeah, the hollow taco nail file is pretty good quality. I like it. Um, I, I saw, or was it Twitter? Nah. I do see some nail art stuff on Twitter, but it was probably Instagram. Like, on multiple pages, and they just, like, you know, like, held it over the sink and, like, literally poured, like, the boiling kettle water over it. But I'm sure you could, like, you know, like, dip it in a, in a cup or something and then just, like, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. Um. Yeah, exactly. It, it like, I, I don't know what the technical term is, but, like, if the, if the grit is, like applied on the, on the glass file like that's not it like you need a glass file that actually the file itself is etched I think is the right word um pausia <laughs> mm. yeah that's also true amethyst yeah the hollow taco file um is quite nice my other favorite files like I have this big ass very large and I got this I, I can never actually recommend this because it's from a vendor at the state fair that as far as I know doesn't have any website or anything all right let's do let's do another code here but yeah a lot of times you can tell just like by looking at them or if if it seems like it's too good of a deal to be true it could likely be like a shitty a shitty file Alright. Again, making sure you don't have any like little glitters hanging off the edge of your nail and just being mindful of any uh, bald patches or anything hanging out. Mm. That was a little messy. same at the cuticle like I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup with my brush but if there's any actual like glitters like that I want to kind of get that out of the way because it can be difficult to adjust later And there's the difference between one and two coats. <laughs> metal file. I don't know where metal files fall on the nail file hierarchy. Oh, silver. Yes. Maybe I would have thought of it when I pulled my cleanup brush out after this coat. Uh, but maybe not. Juniper, since 1987. Nice. <laughs> no, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. That's a long time. I mean, I've had mine for like a while, especially because like, I have the big one and then I have like, where'd it go? I have one that's the same size as the hollow taco one, but it's purple. Um, and those have been some years, but that's some years. It's a nail file. It's almost as old as I am. Mm. Oh, you don't like the hollow taco one, Tiger. What is it about it that you don't like? Yeah, calf. That's a uh, that's very true. A lot of times on Amazon, it's like, wow, what a deal, and then you get it, and you're like, oh. I see. I've been bamboozled. Led astray. Also, I feel kind of like having a goodly amount of polish on the brush is helpful to getting it to apply nicely, even if you're not like going to apply everything you have on the brush, if that makes sense.
the plastic handle crumbled off. I wonder if you could make like a new handle for it. Have a, have it be a fun little custom craft handle project. Or if it would fit in, I don't know. Like I know there are crochet handles that can fit crochet hooks. Like would a, would a nail file fit in one of those? That's where my mind goes. Trying to make sure too that there's nothing like generally these glitters are laying pretty flat, but just a couple times I've seen things like at weird, like sticking up or sticking out, and I'm trying to uh, like tamp those down. Because I think if I can just make sure that there's none of, not, not too much of that, that we can maybe get away with a one layer of top coat. Mm. Mm. Too stiff. Wash it. I barely ever wash mine. To not go back and forth with it. Interesting. Freaking gnats. Yeah, we do have a goodly counter. Have to head out. Oh, all right. Mm. Definitely not picking up cookies from a certain establishment. Flamingo eyes. Uh, I went with uh, Smoke Show. And we are also double base coat layering Peely with long lasting for the whole manicure since the testing of that went well before to see how that goes for these for this glitter hmm got like a little gap on the side can i can i just fill this in please mm. <laughs> it is well because it kind of shows it's like the handle wasn't as good quality as the actual as the actual file all right right hand making sure to not leave gaps oh not have glitters hanging over the edge. Gonna go eat. Enjoy your lurk, Jam Jams. <laughs> Busted can of biscuits and this. Yeah, usually that's the problem I have with Peely Base. I don't know. I guess we'll see if this... Uh solves it or at least like mitigates it does that count as like an extra credit word mitigates is a pretty good word <laughs> doing a pink which is it a pink i would know i used to okay i used to feel like i could ask somebody hey what do you have on your nails and like i would know like, I knew all the nail colors, even if it was something I didn't have. And now, I'm so out of the loop, and there's so many indie brands and stuff. Which is great, to be clear. But it's like, I can't just ask somebody and be like, Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. But I'm assuming we'll get a picture once it's done, so that's okay. Ooh, fun silver. The ring magnet sounds really cool. Especially if I continue like doing a lot of magnetic manicures or if I get like some more magnetic polishes or 
if somebody buys that Cirque set for me. Like, once you have magnetic polishes, then, like, you can just stock up on magnets. And use them in different ways. I mean, and with layering also. I was talking earlier about having different shaped magnets, and one of my magnet sets... I didn't pull it out and actually look at it, but I was looking at the box, and I think one of my magnet sets actually has, like, a little magnet stand like we were talking about. Which is perhaps redundant now that we know the under the finger hack. But I was like, oh, well, isn't that nice? High tea hibiscus and hot wire paint. Oh, lovely. Yes. Those blues looked so good together. Yeah, that's understandable, Juniper. Especially some polishes. Although I think it's like... Especially nowadays because so many brands are eliminating like a lot of the different chemicals. I feel like, I mean just even wet nail polish doesn't smell as bad, but that there's less polishes that have a more lingering scent. As long as it's not like scented polish or something, which is like one of my biggest pet peeves. Scented polish, I don't feel like should exist. Don't encourage people to sniff the nail polish. It's a horrible idea. Okay, we've got a couple glitters there we go ah, that's I that's a struggle I can relate to Naki <laughs> hmm I wonder if that's the one that I have. Or if it's something else. It's like a little box and it has like the little thing and like a several magnets that like fit with it. And honestly, like appreciating like the single like the single magnet design, like the cat's eye. Uh Like, I used to go more with, like, well, it came with this magnet, so I should use this magnet. But, like, I can't remember the last time I used one of those styles of magnet, because I like the fun magnet so well. But, like, the the striped magnets, like, that's a really nice look also. It's been a long time since I rocked that. Alright. Yeah, and sometimes, too, if you, like, missed any little glitters, like, if it could soften back up with the acetone, and then you can go in and maybe pick them up a little bit with the orange stick. Mm. Pause and ponder your expenses, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so here's the thing. I'm not going to say that Fun's magnetics aren't worth it because they're gorgeous. I mean, I only have three, but they're really nice. But, like, Fun is not a cheap brand. And I am, you could probably get some some magnetics that were almost as cool for cheaper. At one point, I remember buying, like, a set of, like, 30 magnetics on Amazon for, like, $30. I may be overestimating or overstating the deal. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But one, like, when I pulled them out, I don't want to say recently because it wasn't super recently, but, like, kind of recently, a lot of them had discolored. So don't go too cheap. 
but like mid-priced magnetics um are out there or just wait for like hollow taco to come out with some magnetics because i mean i feel like it's gotta happen like it's gotta happen right Christine loves us. All I want is some magnetics and a dark rainbow, like, uh, chrome collection, like, uh... Oh god, what's it called? Great. Hmm. Hydro power and the circuit breaker. Oh, circuit breaker is silver, right? Yeah. Hollow, hollow gradients, I feel like, often turn out really nice because the hollow effect helps them to blend together, like, because the hollow just all, like, I don't want to say blends together, but, like, flows together. Yeah, I would I would love to see just like some colored versions of great. That was such a nice formula. And I mean, okay, so I have to imagine we will. Like I don't I don't think a nail polish company comes up with a, an amazing formula for just one polish, right? Like that wouldn't that wouldn't make any business sense. to come up with perfect smooth uh, smooth uh, applying chrome and then only make one no please no get this little, this little glitter does not want to it's like caught on a piece of fuzz there we go Which ones are on the page I was flashing earlier? Those are the fun lacquer ones. Mm. That should be my collab with Hollow Taco, I wish. Black jelly with unicorn skin flaky, that would sound. Hollow Taco sounds like a restaurant in Hollow Nest. I, that sounds like a meme waiting to be made. I don't know exactly what the meme looks like, but you're like 100% not wrong. Take Millibel's hut. Replace Millibel with a taco vendor. <laughs> Alright. Almost done with this cleanup. Also, enjoy your lurk sharpies. Oh, you don't think she'll do thermals? Is it because thermals, like, expire? I've heard that. Same formula as the other multichromes, it's just that the pigment doesn't shift. Interesting. Well, do, do, I mean, that should be, like, quote unquote easier. Or maybe, I don't know. I suppose it matters what kind of pigment goes in there. But when you think about like uh, mirror chrome pigments, there's a lot of those that come in like different colors. Like, oh my god, imagine that formula with just a straight up gold. Or rose gold? Oh my god. I would love that so much. Like, just imagine. Okay, I, I did just imagine. It would be so good. Ima imagine 
gold, bronze, a bright silver, red, at Gidge, purple. <laughs> I think I only have two thermals and they're like from Claire's and if the thing about them expiring is true they're probably expired and don't shift colors anymore because they're very elderly pink yes I mean I like I said I just think of all the different like mirror chromes that I've seen and I would I would like to have that okay these are quite smooth and part of that is due to me like uh having awareness as i was going to make sure that there weren't any uh glitters sitting up at weird angles but for the most part it laid pretty pretty flat on its own the main problem areas like i said can be at the edges of nails at the tips or at the sides or at like the cuticles it all feels pretty smooth. I'm going to need to refill this pretty soon. It's like half empty. I'm going to glom on the sesh vite and also full wrap the nails. Yeah, frozen bananas is a very like light and yellowy gold. And I like it a lot, but it, yeah, it's not quite like what you picture when you think of like 14 karat gold, 14 karat gold. Okay. I almost just gouged that. Let's get this top coat on before I, before I ruin things. Glom. <clears throat> the gold flake taco. Yeah, that would be beautiful. I actually... So... I, I still am not 100% sure what was causing it, and I haven't had it happen lately. But for several manicures, I was having a reaction with Sesh Vite and apparently polishes that had flakies in them and something I was doing. And I couldn't determine if it was a particular food or cooking, like, at a certain temperature or if I was if they were exposed to like something or what but when I wore uh, frozen bananas it started getting darker until by the time I turned it off turned it off took it off it was almost uh, I would say brass colored and that was very interesting and I liked all the shades of colors that it went through on its on its journey. And it wasn't it wasn't Frozen Banana's fault. It was Sesh Viet's fault. Um because when I took it off, I took like a Q tip and just like erased the top layer of Sesh Viet and there underneath Frozen Bananas was hanging in there just normal. And Sesh V was extremely discolored. Mm. But when I was posting update pictures in like Discord, everybody was kind of commenting on how it like still looked so good. Yeah, like brass, like not like really like deep, deep gold, deep dark gold. Mm. This is so nice. 
I'm happy with my decision because okay let me do the other hand before we do some flashlight time I haven't worn anything this sparkly in a long time I feel like Although I do feel like a lot of times when I cut my nails short, I lean towards something sparkly. So when is the last time we had a kind of big chop? Like after Water Marble March? buy some hair products see that's the thing it's like there's so many little things that could that that could be responsible and it happened to me more than once and i'm still not even actually sure you guys it felt like it at the time but i'm not even sure if it had to do with polishes having flakies in them or if that just happened to be what I was noticing, you know, as a, a related uh, criteria. I don't know. I, it hasn't happened in a while. Knock on wood. There we go. <laughs> hey, Panda, hello. It really does have, uh, what's the fuck's the initials for that new telescope vibes? Something, something, something. It's like four letters, something that's named after somebody. Um. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's sparkly. It's kind of interesting. Like, um... How do I want to phrase it? In the bottle... I guess it's more not under flashlight also, but I feel like you can pick out the individual large glitters more in the bottle than necessarily on the nail. It kind of blends into like one glitter texture compared to in the bottle. The cake shell. Oh, that's frustrating, Panda. Did you add anything else? I know that's one of the things. There's what I was talking about. See how, like, here you can just see every little... I guess somewhat still on the nail, but more in the bottle. Of course, on the bottle, they're pro probably also more stuck to the sides. And that, like, blue flash that you get, I feel like you don't get that as much on the nail, probably because the nail is not flat like the bottle really really nice though mm. make sure to pose for a cute thumbnail when I upload this to YouTube I literally sometimes I'm like self why the fuck didn't you hold your hand in a nicer position and have like a smiling face so that then I can take a screenshot from here to have be my YouTube thumbnail? Because I don't actually make thumbnails for my VOD archives. I just like... I don't know. I for In my head, it's one of the ways that you can tell edited tutorials from VODs is like just a glance at the thumbnail. It's very... Uh, oh, the collection and poop. Yeah. Wow. You had to be, like, that sold out really, really fast, right? 
Why was it? Why was that such limited stock? I mean, I know it's not a limited edition color, but why was Party of One Purple such limited stock? Did Christine ever say? Yeah, I think. I mean, I don't know. The Julian collection, I think they really like the initial the initial spike was really big like the julian collection i think was sold out and i don't think this collection is sold out yet like the julian collection sold out in the same amount of time um so they had a lot a lot of orders to deal with on that one i know i think i assume um she said it wasn't a small quantity way more people ordered than they thought people love purple people have excellent taste purple i don't know if you can tell this isn't white this is lilac <laughs> yeah because like i woke up at like maybe noon on launch day and and um i looked to see the purple because it wasn't in any of the like the collection shots so i looked on the website and it was like already sold out the collection box is sold out, but individuals are still available. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, you know, this isn't like the glassiest, glossiest smooth ever, but it's pretty smooth. You can see by the reflection, like a couple nails, I can feel a little bit of, uh, just like glitter lumpiness. But I don't think I'm going to do a second coat of top coat. Um, I think Sashvit can still self-level this a bit, and I'm just going to... Yeah, like, it's it's fairly smooth. Yeah, and all five are still good to buy. Yeah, is there any anybody who hasn't ordered or anybody who has ordered wants to see more? I mean, I have them all right here. I guess the one we didn't show under flashlight today was uh, the nearly white. And I am very much looking forward to wearing that soon too. Um, so soft and pretty. Like on that very subtle holographic vibe. I mean, obviously, subtle in comparison to this. Of course, I mean, also, this has that subtle holographic vibe like we were talking about. I keep forgetting that there's actually hollow in here. Um, and the reflective, of course, is not that impressive in the bottle, but... And I did receive this as PR, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah. UPS is on point with their notifications. FedEx, honestly, fuck FedEx. Thankfully, I don't get very much through them. But I never get my, my shipping notifications properly from FedEx, even though I'm signed up for the thing. Featured guest is low in stock. Yeah. I can't wait to wear this. It's just, it's it feels very just ethereal mother of pearlish yeah and so like it's kind of interesting because you get this angle and you almost get like that gold flash but you still also have the hollow it's kind of like along the lines of this where at some angles you get actually I guess that was more under the ring light there you get a little bit though like where it just gets like a blue reflect over the whole thing it's really interesting and beautiful beautiful and of course this is what I just took off very unique I think in like modern polish finishes like I said it's kind of similar to Kaleidoscope but Kaleidoscope is like 12 years ago hmm Osseo, Minnesota. Oh no. 
Yeah. I, I, it's, I mean, I know I come off like a fangirl. Guess what? I am. But it's because it's such good shit, though. Like, I don't know. When I don't like something of Hollow Taco, it's rare, but you guys know that I let you that I let you know. I think the only thing I really, really, really don't like of Hollow Tacos is the regular glossy taco though. Um, and that's just because like it's not as good as the super glossy and it's not as good as Sashavit. And I I I can't have anything like I can't take a step down in my in my quick dry top coat. I can't. Um, yeah, Fruno, we just did flashlight time. You want more? We could, we could, we could do one more flashlight. We could do one more flashlight time. I don't think anybody will mind. There are many rainbows on my nails. My nails are short-ish, but it's okay. Polo right thumb is short. Poe Lil Right Thumb has almost no, like, almost no free edge. Poe Lil Right Thumb has only enough free edge that the naked, vulnerable tip of my finger is not exposed. Yeah, that'll, I hope, well, tomorrow's probably supposed to be sunny. Get some outside fix. Hey, nobody. Welcome on in. We are actually just wrapping up here. Thumbs are hard. I always had trouble growing out my thumbs. Like, I remember looking at old pictures and I would definitely, like, see, you know, like, short thumbs. And now, like, I can grow my left thumb more, but, like, for whatever reason, I mash way harder uh, with my right thumb on the controller. Yes, that is exactly how I feel, Jesse. Now, if Super Glossy were to come out with like a refill bottle at a price that was comparable to like the Session of Eat refill bottle, um, you know, I might have to might have to consider some things, but especially as often as I can do my nails, I, I guess I don't do them quite as often anymore. But like, I need that big old refill bottle. Thank you, Munchkins. Yeah, Amethyst. I mean, well, you guys saw. Well, if you didn't see, the break on this thumb is about right here. Very frustrating. Oh, that's cool, Jesse. Yeah, I, when I ordered on uh, Black Friday, I ordered myself some more super glossy taco and the reason i got it and what i actually keep it for is when i'm using vinyls uh because i i do feel like super glossy is a step up from sesh Beat, and like when you're working with vinyls you really want something that's like very uh like hard dried <clears throat> nail polish thinner nail polish thinner is really handy to have around I wouldn't be surprised if Christine eventually did a nail polish thinner just because so many people ask, but the one I have is just from Sally's. Beauty Secrets. It's like slightly more expensive than it used to be, but I still think it's like under $5 and it'll last you like a long time. Also, I really do hope, I mean, like I've, I've, uh, posted it in like her Discord's suggestion channel, like please a refill bottle of Super Glossy. Mm. Um. I think I'm done. I am tired. I am hungry. And I'm very glad you guys hung out with me to do my nails. Let's see what is going on in the lovely land of Twitch this evening. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, 
Oh oh oh. Dun, dun. A lot of things happening. Hmm. It's a nice thumbnail for me. Okay, um, also I can't see chat right now because the monitor that I can see has my follower on stuff. Um You know what, maybe I'll just toss you guys over to math, because honestly that's probably where I'm gonna find myself landing. Um I don't know what math is about to get up to. It looks like uh, Kill Tiso Twice is done. So. But I'm assuming like it's pretty early that math is probably not done. But guess what? If somehow he is done, I'm sure he will find somewhere to send you guys. Oh. Sesh V just saved me there because I like accidentally mashed into my keyboard and I did not ding my nail. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Munchkins. Discord, if anybody is not and would like to be. Um. Oh, hey. Can we get, uh. Can we get a shot of these bean toes? Can you guys see how they're kind of like pinkish gray? Not like all the way gray, not like all the way pink. How about this paw? Can I hold this paw? No, he says, stop messing with my paws. You smell like nail polish. <laughs> the bean toes. Um, if you don't know uh, Mathulu, he is doing some Hollow Knight, which is the thing I like to do. Uh, and if you'd like to come along for the raid, please feel free to use your favorite simple little emotes and join along. I have not Panda. I kind of don't think my computer could handle it. Um, and I actually haven't watched any either. I don't know. Maybe eventually one day I will. But uh, currently no. They are cute bane toes. Look at that pink tongue. Such a cute boy. Anyway. Um, actually, it kind of looks like maybe he's about to get up. I might be about to, like, BRB raid, you guys. I can't hear what he's saying, but, uh... I'm gonna just push the button. And... I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know with what. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. And, uh... Hope you have a good rest of your day. Whether it's getting started or wrapping up. And I hope I'll see you all next time. And of course, if you are, oh look at that tummy, if you are in the future on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. What is math saying? Wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a second. Gotta wait. Colette, welcome <laughs> in. And welcome in readers, um, who unfortunately some of you are in the middle of an ad, so I'll do a more a full uh um, Oh, it's an ad break. Word, but. I don't know, do the Raiders get the ads? That's uh that's welcome unfortunate in and funny. Um, I was just about to take a break. But please feel free to um, subscribe here on YouTube. How or how is if your you would like how are those nails looking? Join I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to see some photos. Twitch.tv um, slash you end up MS. Just doing a full manicure or was it just uh Thanks just, for watching. Uh, see you next time. Uh, nail 